Well, apart from the building sounds and the drip drop of the water coming down the guttering, and Matterporn drying her hair with the hair dryer in the background, and a funeral letting off some fireworks, you can hear the little nip, 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 nip. It's more of a plaintive nip, nip. They are a beautiful flock of uh, birds that we get out here. They are scaly breasted moonia. Scaly breasted moonia always go about in a flock, so you can uh, see by their habit that uh, where one goes, they all go, and they stick together really closely. And there's this little couple of babies sat on a branch in the rain, just keeping warm together, huddling up next to each other in the, in the wet and the cold. Well, it's not cold, it's, it's like uh, 30, 30 plus degrees, but it's wet and it must be very damp for them. That's going to be a headline, isn't it? I mean, shorts, 50 baht. You know, when you talk on videos, it's one-to-one, -one, it's personal. You actually talk to the person that's watching it. He talked to me. This is the fog of war. The fog of war against dengue. We've come to Camptian again. We're looking for pot plants. I made a tragic mistake of repotting something and I'm not sure quite what went wrong, but either the soil was contaminated or I damaged the roots. But uh, we had some lovely pot plants in the house, uh, four of them in the house, and I split them into six or eight, and the uh, majority of them have now passed on. Something seriously went wrong, so we've come back to Campton to see if we can bring a little life back into the house again. This is a lovely little shop. It's quaint, nalak, cute. It's got uh, lots of different animals, uh, varieties of pots uh, uh, based on animals, and the, the colour is superb. So uh, the nalak factor is quite high, uh, but the utility of it is perfect. It's a lovely little pot that you get with um, with delicate little plants in. Very, very nice. There's a nice feeling in this shop. It's very nice indeed. Well, there's a couple of red whiskered baubles. They've set up uh, a little nest here uh, yesterday and they've been very, very busy over the last 24 hours. Uh, that's the oriental magpie robin you can hear there. This whip, 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 whip. That's the red whiskered bauble you can here coming in, bringing mouthfuls of straw, you know, like um, grasses and twigs, and spending a lot of time trampling and ruffling their feathers in the nest, sort of spreading it all out. Home building. Wonderful Natterporn, what have you done for me? Kau Pat Nam Liap Kau Pat Nam And for the uninitiated, this is the Nam Liap and that's Kau Pat Olive, Black Olive. Nice. And let me just look at these. Yeah. Nice soft eggs too. This Lemon.
I've just had my health check. Uh, I've got my sticker on my arm and I've come through with a, a good health reading from these guys at the entrance. There's one for you, Jack. Wow. And here's one for you, Ken. Let do me. Wow, stairway to heaven. Led Zeppelin. Bruno recently triggered uh, a question in my mind. Uh, he said to me, uh, well, he said on his video, you know, when you talk on videos, it's one-to-one, -one, it's personal. You actually talk to the person that's watching it. He talked to me. He asked me to fill in a poll and he said, would I listen to, would I prefer the Beatles to the Rolling Stones? Well, as Jack said, Jacques, or this is Jacques. Uh, what Jacques said was the Doors and the Doors t-shirt, absolutely first class. One of my first albums, I remember buying the uh, Doors absolutely live. I was what, 16? And I listened to it day and night, double album, absolutely live. Jim Morrison at his height, brilliant. That album formed the backdrop of uh, many a, a night just laying in bed listening to the Doors music brilliant see now if you listen to this guy he's full of prices this is really good information if you want to move to thailand if you want to come to thailand as a visitor this guy's the guy to listen to he's advertising the prices of all the products here and i can tell you this is 80 baht for shorts and two for 150 absolute bargain price Take it all back. 50 baht for one pair of shorts. Gang Gang Nai. Wow. This is what you wear around the home. This is what you wear to bed at night. This is what you wear when you're relaxing. 50 baht, a pair of shorts. Wow. Okay, so I've got myself a hat. Maybe this will keep the shade on my face while I'm doing my drones. That's not such a bad price, 140 a kilo. Very nice. I'm enjoying the colours at this market. Absolutely glorious. It's nice to hear the birds in the background too. This, this market's turning out to be a very colourful and relaxing Saturday morning out. It's very beautiful to see people walking around, not one of them without a mask, unless they've got food going in. Um, when they've got food going in, obviously, they take their masks off. But uh, there's a patrol walking around, uh, making sure that uh, people are wearing their masks. That's, that, that's really good. That's some wonderful t-shirts on this stall. Well, oh, very good. Let me turn around and have a look at these. A little girl in the orange shirt here having her portrait taken. And, or should I say portrait drawn. Hello. Good morning to you. Sabadi kap. Sabai di mai. Sabai di mai. Di chang le. A 
that's excellent you can come to the market and have your eyes tested we've got stickers of all sorts here stickers for your home stickers for your car he'll even make you some stickers nice 50 baht for those shorts don't forget 50 bahts for shorts and if you want something to go with it you've got something for 20 baht look at that absolutely amazing you could wear that with your shorts 20 baht for a t-shirt look at that short skirts 20 baht anything on the rack 20 baht roll up roll up roll up roll up bargains galore higher end of the market here we've got 100 baht for everything here in this store 100 baht 100 baht 100 baht and if you need some fruit for your garden fruit trees to grow in your garden uh, they've got lots of uh, fruit on display out the front here and also the trees that produce the fruit uh, behind reasonably priced don't let you back up Lord that's it to me come back up oh don't let loy that's it Lloyd Bad Sip is 180 baht. 180 baht. Mama Wang. Particular type of Mama Wang. Let me find out what the Mama Wang. Katord Cup. Any been Mama Wang to me? Mama Wang. Uh, Mama Wang uh, Babalai Cup. Uh, Han Hong Kai Ke. Hong, Hong, Hong Pudding Tea Cup. ของประเทศประเทศไต้หวันค่ะอ๋อประเทศไต้ไต้หวันค่ะดูได้ครับพร้อมประเทศไต้หวันค่ะว้าวลูกใหญ่เนาะอ่าน้ำโลไปเที่
the kingdom of a million rice fields. And I think you can agree with some of the aerial shots I'm showing you um, how many millions of rice fields there are. There must be millions of millions of rice fields. Well, as with the mock fruit that I was showing you a couple of weeks ago, uh, lychee, they, uh, they peel much the same on the seam. And if you can just, uh, just squeeze them, you'll break that seam and open up the fruit to a lovely flesh inside. Mm. That's a nice refreshing fruit after the humidity and the and the heat. Mm. Little stones in these. Let's break another one open. See the little seam around the outside there? That seam goes all the way around. And if you can just look at the top and then just squeeze a little bit. Whoop, there we go, squeeze a little bit of juice comes out. You'll break that seam and then you can easily peel back this fruit as you'll see the lush, moist fruit. Mm. Well, here in the paddies behind me, you can see a lot of work going on. Uh, actually, right behind the, the camera, in the shade of these trees, the uh, group of farmers are having their lunch. The ping uh, provides water for the farmers to flood their fields, and therefore once they've flooded the field, they can then plough. And this, this glass mirror uh, you can see here now is the work of the ploughed field and this will have many churnings over and then let it settle and then they plant. Recently the government uh, pleaded with the farmers to wait for the rains uh, after July, early July. Uh, this is obviously um, you know, all tied in with uh, the distribution of water because we have had a very dry year and the waters are only starting to come and despite three beautiful nights of rain we've got very little water in that ping. Uh, obviously there are dams further up the ping holding it back but uh, these farmers they've taken the water from the ping and they're getting on with their planting. Great. Industry. This is what Northern Thailand is all about. These farmers uh, producing their rice. Here, year round, they're producing uh, product, whether it be rice, whether it be onion, garlic. Quite intrigued by the sound of that tractor over there. It's um, pretty, pretty good exhaust on it. It's nice to see the wagtails uh, and the other water uh, birds that you can see around water here if you come on a quiet day with no people around. Um, wait till the farmers have finished their work and then come back with your binoculars or telescopes. It's a great place. Many birders come here, they stand in the shade of these little bushes behind and they look across these fields and you can see many, many, many birds. It's uh, a glorious place to come and watch birds if you're into um, the variety that surround the paddies. Anyway, I want to go and take my bird up again.
Bloody cup. cup. This is the fog of war. The fog of war against dengue, against mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are responsible for spreading dengue fever. And here in Thailand, it's a huge problem. Outbreaks are recorded daily on the news and as time goes by the numbers will grow this year unless they spray like this in communities and get rid of standing water so buddy cup there will be further outbreaks of dengue which will kill thousands on the internet uh, on my phone and for the first uh, five months of this year January through to the 31st of May uh, there were over 14,000 cases reported in Thailand of dengue fever that's just for five months so these cases of 14,000 that's for that period of time hang on a minute 14 that's four times as many people having dengue than COVID. This is the local answer to fighting dengue, spraying. Spraying this smoke will kill as much of the uh, population of mosquitoes as possible. And people are encouraged to empty their uh, standing water bins, their, the, you know, the habitats that uh, give mosquitoes the, the place to lay their larvae or lay their eggs for the larvae to grow into new mosquitoes and spread this disease. So if you've got water standing around and you're in Thailand, please consider emptying it. It may well save another uh, infection of uh, the dengue fever. 2019 in Thailand, there was uh, under 130,000 cases of dengue reported. Uh, interestingly, uh, only round about 200 deaths. Now, if you look at that in comparison to the scare that's going on regarding uh, COVID, you know, 129, 130,000 cases versus under 4,000 uh, cases of corona you know people have really got scared about covid uh, it's not affected them here so much in thailand we still don't know why that is is it because the amount of sunlight we have here is it because of the the strength of the chilies we eat um you know or the amount of garlic we eat? what is the reason we don't know but we do know that uh, covid has not affected thailand as much as other countries we're very lucky. But dengue is, albeit a killer, uh, it's a debilitating disease. This is the bank of the Ping, and I can see some water over there in a little trench, but uh, basically there's, there's no real river flow here. Well, I hope he got him. <laughs> All the geese on the far banker are waking up now, they're struggling away, wading in the mud. Uh, you see some nice birds out in the in the paddies. In the background here, you can probably hear lots of chirps and cheeps flying around here. Some swallows. Great. You know, I'm going to take my bird up and have a have a look along the the river here.
so much for joining me on uh, this trip out uh, south of Chiang Mai city in the province of Chiang Mai. If you've not subscribed already, please do so. Hit the bell, you'll be notified in your inbox of new published videos. Check the description as always, you'll see links and more details about this video. So, leave me a comment. What did you think about Chiang Mai today? What did you think about the dengue problem? Let me know what your thoughts are. Well, I hope you enjoyed the prices at the market. I went to a lot of trouble to hunt some good prices down. Just think, a pair of shorts, 50 baht. <sighs> wow, that's gonna be a headline, isn't it? I mean, shorts, 50 baht. Here in Thailand, you can get a lot of things for 50 baht. You can eat a meal for 50 baht and you can get a pair of shorts as well. Incredible. Anyway, stay well, stay safe, stay happy. Bye-bye.